Hello, I'm Pop Seagull and welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe before you forget so that you can continue to receive these videos and I can continue to make them. The more likes and subscribes I can get, the better videos and the more videos I can produce and share my system with you. Today, I'm going to show you the four elbow drill from Bagua Kung Tao Silat. Now that drill encompasses the four main elbows of Bagua Kung Tao Silat and elbows are very important in my system. Of course they can use, be used for striking but they're also used for throws and deflections, grapples and a host of other things that you can do once you understand how your body uses elbows and how you can use that force generated by your body when making an elbow movement. So, without further ado, I'm going to show it to you slowly and from different angles so you can get it. And of course, you should practice it on both sides. But the four main elbows, there are a lot of variations. However, the variations are still off of the four main elbows that I'm going to show you. You can change the angle, but your body movement are going to be from one of these four main elbows, regardless of the angle you choose, except for some of the vertical dropping elbows which will show in other parts of the system but this requires more practice the others are easier the drop, especially the dropping elbow however the four main elbows are as follows and that includes the footwork it's your entire body that's in these uh, in this elbow practice that's the whole point so again you relax sinking your body as you do in every movement in the system and you can feel your weight in your feet as you sink into the ground. Of course, that's your center that you're maintaining control of and finding the ground path. You take that pressure you feel on your feet and initially make a rising vertical elbow, uncoiling from your rear foot and twisting your joints up all the way through from your toes, your ankle, your knee, your hips, your waist, your spine, shoulders, until finally it's straightening out and making that vertical elbow. The next elbow immediately from there is turning and making that other elbow you've practiced with torquing palm, the horizontal elbow, then the inside outward elbow, and then finally the spear elbow. That's the four main elbows. Practice on the other side. And you can see, you use your entire body in those elbows. You can see my entire body is prepped to generate force with those elbows from the bottom of my feet all the way to the expression of force to the tips of my elbows. Now, when I say the tips, that depends on what your intent is to do with that. Also, you can see those elbows force my spine and body to move in a particular way. So it forces my skeletal positioning and my joints to follow through with the entire movement. It's not simply that I'm dropping an elbow like this and it's only my shoulder and perhaps my upper back. When we do an elbow, it's the entire body doing the elbow. You can do it lower or you can do it higher, but it's not just this movement, even in that small movement, which you couldn't see, and it's really difficult for internal arts is watching. When I'm turning, my entire body rotates around my spine, my hips and my shoulder, my knee and my elbows, foot, ankle, toes, neck, head, all moving unison, even if it's just micrometers. But the point to do it is to do it in synchronous timing that magnifies the force that's issued through my movement. So it's not simply this elbow that's moving in the shoulder that supports it. It's my entire body. So when the elbow strikes from Bagua Kung Tao Silat, you feel my entire body weight, my entire skeleton, and all my muscles move into one single focus point to designate that target as someone who's going to receive force from the practitioner. Also, show you from the other side And from this side,
the stepping goes along with it with the proper stepping the proper skeletal integration with your opponent you can easily use these movements in order to throw your opponent reposition them off balance them to set them up for a combination set of movements either be strikes throws stomps grapples whatever it is you're doing or your intent to do or you believe you need to do due to the movements of your opponent or the environment or what you're trying to accomplish I'll show you again from this side and I'll slow it down for you so you can see from the other side yet again you should always practice both sides You may hear the audible claps of my hand, but if you'll notice, I'm relaxed the whole time, even though it looks like I'm tensing up, I'm not. And those claps you hear are quite literally my elbow connecting with my hand, not my hand slapping my elbow. <laughs> I know it seems otherwise, but once you relax and allow your body to softly make contact instead of having to be rigid, when you're rigid and you try to force contact, that's when you slow yourself down and you rob yourself of power. You throw yourself off balance and you become an easier target. You also can't reap combinations, do grappling as well. Everything becomes more difficult when you get tense. Remember, stay soft and relaxed. Be aware of your surroundings and most importantly yourself at all times. Thanks for watching. Again, please like and subscribe and I'll produce more videos for you later www.popsigong.com that's www.popsigung.com and you just saw the four elbow drill of Bagua Kung Tao Silat